Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I am going thrifting and I thought I would take you along. This is a really long day of thrifting and it was um, kind of a gloomy day, but I think we did like 13 hours this day. We buy and resell clothing for a little side income. So that's what the main reason we were out for. As soon as I walked in the store, I noticed this Lily Pulitzer bag right away. Uh, we don't actually find Lily Pulitzer very often, but when we do it doesn't usually take long to sell and for a decent price clearly they've been having some issues because i noticed it was zip tied and i couldn't use it it was really bothering me but anyway now we are on to another clothing store that is fairly close to the one that we were just at this is a store that has more than just clothing in it and i actually did like a thrift video in here not too long ago but uh we were just kind of in here to quickly look at things so I, uh, John was going to look at the clothing and I was going to go upstairs and look, um, just to take a quick sweep to see if there was anything. Um, but when I was in here the last time, I don't think I showed over in the corner, um, where I'm headed, they, is where they keep like board games and toys and stuff. John had looked the last time we were there, but I just wanted to go over and take a look. Apparently the old board game, I think it's called Dream Phone. Um... It was like popular when I was a kid in the 80s. Apparently that goes for a decent amount of money nowadays. It's so funny sometimes to me. The, it seems like sometimes the most random things are the things that become really valuable. Like I'm, I think I'm talking like it's like sells for $200 or close to that or maybe even more than that, which I just find really funny. But yeah, I think that was like a late 80s game. Um, but we have not found a copy, but I'm sure that I have seen it before we actually started looking for it when we learned how valuable it was. I think I ended up taking a quick scan of the VHS, but I don't know if I actually found anything. So then I just hurried upstairs. We had a bunch of stores to get to today, so we were kind of trying to go as fast as we could. Um, I did look in this one first room here. I feel like there's never anything in here, but... Again, you just never know if there is going to be something, so. I felt compelled to at least go in and take a quick scan. Didn't see anything of interest to me, and then when you leave there, there's a separate room just filled with books. I felt like I had to go in there as well and look for cookbooks and stuff right away. Well, as I was walking in, I noticed this Betty Crocker um, book, which it's like a paperback, which I don't know. I picked it up and I kind of flipped through it. And I don't know, for me, um, cookbooks in general, probably, but at least vintage ones as well. It doesn't hit the same when it's a paperback. Like, I feel like I need the pictures. That's what makes it um, makes me like it, I guess, more. So I did pass on that and I didn't see anything else in cookbooks in there, but I did, I do like reading, um, like autobiographies. And so I did see the, um, Jordan Belfort and I thought that would probably be a really interesting read. I definitely enjoyed the movie a lot. So I was taking a quick little scan and I saw this Christmas CD that I almost bought and then I realized I really don't need any more Christmas CDs and I probably already have all of these songs on like other cds or i usually listen to spotify mostly so i put that down and stepped away um this vintage crock pot i think was here the last time we were here i kind of just did a quick scan through this area just because i'd been here so recently but if you'd like a more detailed look i guess um you could go back and watch the video that i posted i'll try to just link that at the top of my um like video links below i felt like there wasn't really a lot that i was seeing that was um new but i find um this store in particular it's not very well um categorized i guess that's the best way to put it i feel really bad because i don't want to speak badly of it it's just i wish it was a little bit more organized i guess because i do like the store it's just it seems really chaotic i guess when you're looking for stuff so i probably um i don't know if things were like categorized better together on the shelves maybe but 
I think I've mentioned it before, but I understand how it is because I used to work in a thrift store. Sometimes you just don't have time to do that. So you just do the best you can. So I, I have like grace for them at the same time. But as a shopper, I'm like, oh, I wish that this was better organized. I did notice this cookie press. Um, this one was electric, which I've never even heard of. Um, and I briefly did consider getting this. Um, one of my most popular videos is me using, I think it's a 1950s version, maybe 60s. I definitely did not expect that video to get as many views as it did. But I did end up selling that press um, a while ago now, like probably more than a year ago. And I have thought about like maybe I shouldn't have sold it because I could have made another video with it but I don't know to be honest it wasn't the greatest experience using it it's like super hard to turn the electric one would probably be easier but realistically I was thinking when are you ever gonna make cookies like this like it's just not a cookie that I'm excited to make so I ended up just passing on it I'm really just trying to do like a quick kind of scan up in here um because we're on a time crunch so hopefully i'm not moving the camera too fast um but i i don't know when i'm just in the moment thrifting i don't think about it that much i saw this i think this must be for like making soap that's the only thing i could figure out what it could be used for but had all these different parts but they had all these slots in them that made me think it would be like for cutting them i don't know i think that would be a really fun hobby but it also seems complicated <laughs> So I noticed this Starbucks um, thermos, I guess, and at first I just walked by it, but then I was thinking about it. I'm like, maybe I should look at that closer because I know a lot of times Starbucks stuff can be like worth money. This wasn't in the greatest shape, but I noticed it's a Thailand on the back. So I thought, hmm, that's different. <clears throat> and then I put it down and then kept going, but I kept thinking about it. So I did end up um, going back and picking it up, but I don't know if I showed that. I loved that little footed um, glass with the flowers on it. I thought it was so cute, but oh, I have so many cute glasses already that I'm like, I don't need any more at all. And that is actually after selling a ton of them. So <laughs> I still have way more than I probably will ever need. As I was walking up the aisle, I noticed this hamburger and it reminded me of, I think it was in the 80s, they had those like hamburger phones. I'm not actually sure what this is supposed to be, but um, it had a couple of different layers to it. And then right after that, I noticed that fall dish that was here the last time we were here um, that I really liked, but I didn't need. Well. I guess it hasn't found its home yet. I still I still do like it, but again, I just I don't need any anymore. It was like slightly pricey, I think, too, which is part of my deterrent. It was like nine dollars, which is a little expensive when you're talking about a thrift store, at least in my opinion.
I think this like wedding cake topper had a really creepy look to it. I don't know if it's like something specific that I'm just not aware of, but it was like, oh, that's that's a choice. I did notice this Singer sewing machine on the floor and this looks just like my mom's sewing machine. Like it had the same kind of plastic lid that came off of it. But <clears throat> I do have a vintage one that I love um, from the seventies. Um, and then I did see this mug that I thought might have some potential to for reselling, which <laughs> I've been having such a hard time finding vintage mugs lately. But again, another look at that flower cup from the other side. But I think finding that mug is changing my luck on finding vintage mugs. But it was the same brand name of a mug that I sold fairly recently that sold for a decent price so I just kind of went with my gut and picked it up. I really liked these glasses and I kind of wish that I would have picked them up. I feel like they're very vintage bar kind of a vibe but at the time I guess I wasn't feeling it but looking at them now I'm like oh those would have been cute. And then I saw a cordless phone. <laughs> just such a throwback. I feel like people don't even have landlines anymore or at least there's probably a good percentage of people that don't um and then I saw this old tv at first and I was like oh that's cool but then I realized that it's not just an old tv it's like a whole security system set up and I feel like this was probably what the store itself was using and then the, now they're just selling it or whatever maybe they upgrade it to like um you know like a digital thing but I just thought that was funny I don't remember that from last time we were there so then we left there we went to Salvation Army which I was so excited about I filmed a whole separate video for that though because it ended up being like 20 minutes long I think in there so that was my last video and then when we're leaving this is like what we walk past I love this old brick building you can see where obviously there was another building next to it, like the roof line, but you can just make out that it says lamps and something. So I'm not sure what it was at one time, but um, then we went to another thrift store. Um, this one has clothing, but they also have other things. And I just realized for the first time that all these flowers that they have in these flower um, window boxes are actually fake. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're always there, but it made me want to do it because <laughs> I think it would just look really fun and colorful and almost vintage looking. So I might try to do that next year because I'm like not the greatest at plants and gardening and I don't know. I want to get I want to get good at it, but I'm also just like not that into it at the same time. Like I want to have a nice garden, but I'm not that into gardening, <laughs> I guess. I always have like good intentions, but then I just don't end up following through with it. So it doesn't seem fun to me, I guess, but I want it to be. But then when I'm in it trying to do it, I'm like, I hate this. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens next year. So we've been in this thrift store not too long ago either, but I've shared before, but this particular chain, they also sell like just the most random things that are new as well as used things. We're mainly here for clothing, but I like to just peruse through these new things as well. It's just the most random stuff I feel like. Um, and because of that, sometimes you can find things that are almost like vintage-y, even though I don't think they're trying to be. It's just, they're like 
out of date i guess maybe i don't know but they do sell candles here too i think i had got two fall candles here because i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to find the ones that i really love and then i noticed that they had this um this autumn candle as well which i didn't get um so i had to smell that it did actually smell really good and i kind of wish that maybe i would have got it but i don't know if i'll have a chance to burn through all the fall candles i already have so I ended up passing on it but I do did see that they had Christmas candles out already <laughs> and I had to smell that and I definitely think I want to get this one for Christmas because it I don't do like a real tree so it kind of gives that smell um if you had a real tree in your house which I've actually never had a real tree in my house I think um I think one year we spent Christmas with John's parents and they do a real tree I think that was normal for them to do a real tree um, when he was growing up but then John saw this really old looking piece of equipment I'm not even exactly sure what it is I don't think he was either but it definitely looked very very old They just have a few spots for used things, so this was one of them. These look like um, vintage crock pot, crock pot inserts, <laughs> just without the crock pot, but maybe they're newer. I don't know. They looked more like the vintage ones I see. I saw this um, glass jar thing, and I actually really liked it, and I was thinking about getting it, but then I noticed it was $15. $15. That seems a bit excessive to me. I don't even know if it's vintage or not, but even if it was, like, it's pretty plain. I don't know. Maybe I didn't, like, look for a brand on it or anything. I just was thinking, that's a real stretch for just some plain jar. And that's what I'm starting to hate about trying to thrift for vintage things nowadays. I feel like if anything is, like, I don't know, even, like, some 90s stuff I see, it's just, the prices are so crazy. Anyway, um, I feel like I mention that in every video, so I'm just gonna end my rant, but then uh, I looked at these the last time, and they have so many of these really cute small notebooks, and l I'm pretty sure last time I was here, I was saying, oh, this would make a really good gratitude journal, um, you know, it's very tiny, so I could just keep it in my nightstand, but then I didn't end up getting them again, I just, I don't know why, but, <laughs> but I did notice some other things I didn't look at last time. Um, I probably should have got this, but it's for like cleaning your devices and I could have kept it in my nightstand because all the time at night when I look at my phone, I think, oh, this is so gross. I noticed that they also had these like flashlight things that we just got a couple of free ones from our, the place that we buy our shipping supplies from. But then I noticed these flashlights, which I thought were really neat. They're like super flat, um, but it's probably as bright as a regular flashlight, but obviously it doesn't take up as much space so probably could have got one of those too it's just the most random stuff that it's like you don't need but then you see it and you're like oh this is actually helpful i don't know and then after that i noticed that next to the cleaning cloth they had um other flashlights that were like tiny they almost almost like a little bit bigger than a like a credit card but they had some cute designs on them but i didn't get any of them <laughs> and then i noticed that they had these like dish towels which i have the same ones but in a different color scheme like orange and green um so i wish they would have had the ones that i use but this is the prime example of like these are new but like it almost looks sort of vintagey i think the orange and green ones look more vintage but you get my drift and then i saw some fall magazines i actually get most of my magazines from thrift stores um I don't know they're so much cheaper and i just like reading magazines i guess i don't know i like getting like ideas from them so um they also sell i don't think i've shown this before but they also sell sell uh sheet sets there too they did have a little halloween section as well with some new things this definitely reminded me of like value village how they have like all those like they have a huge section at halloween with all um different uh, like new halloween stuff along with new costumes but yeah they sell all these um sheet sets and they also sell pillows they sell these bamboo pillows and i actually have one that i've been using for a couple of years and i've always tell john that he should get one 
and for some reason he just never does <laughs> so today when i was looking at them i was like actually i should take this over and see if john wants to get it they're cheaper here i think than what they would be in a department store um so i just grabbed one and when i met up with him <laughs> said oh you should get one of these and to my surprise i thought he was gonna say no i'm, I'm good without it my pillows are fine he was like yeah you know what i should and he loves it <laughs> The thrift store that I worked at actually is sort of part of the same kind of chain. So we had a lot of this same stuff in the thrift store I worked in. I noticed they had some fall placemats up. These are like, they remind me of childhood. They're just like those plasticky ones that, I don't know, they're cute, but I wouldn't have a use for them. And then I saw this walker, which I was actually tempted to get because I have... I threw my back out and I was saying to John when, when it happens, like, I need a walker. It's like the only way I can walk. <laughs> um, it was quite bad, but thankfully it feels better now. So this is a store that I found those cool groovy Steve Madden shoes. So I thought I would take another little look here. I didn't see anything, but I did see these insanely high heels. I used to wear like really high heels, but I couldn't even imagine trying to do that like I would be so afraid of injuring myself <laughs> it's crazy how much your thoughts and opinions on stuff like that changes the older you get like because before I wouldn't even think about it when I would wear them I would like run in high heels no problem <laughs> now I think about just walking normally I'm like ooh, I don't think that's a good idea so I met up with John down here in the corner with the media and books he wanted to get the pillow so I was briefly looking at books, I was looking at the cookbooks a little bit, and then I realized that the last time I was here, I had got some VHS, and somebody had commented uh, a movie that they saw, and I didn't end up getting it because I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the movie. So I thought, oh, I should look for that movie, but I couldn't remember the name of it. So I was looking for a while, and then I just decided I stopped recording so that I could go to that go back and find that video and look in the comment section so I could look for the um, name of the movie and see if it was still there and VHS here for quite some time now have been they're like a dollar 95 but you buy one get one free so basically a dollar a piece so I was having a look and then I went to look and see and it was this movie right here with tom hanks and meg ryan very young tom hanks and meg ryan um because i after they had commented i had looked up the movie and i thought oh that does look really good so i'm glad it was still there and thank you to the person who let me know about that which i don't remember your name so i went over to the other part where they have used stuff they had a little fall halloween thing not very many things though but i always hope to find the original like 1980s boo buckets from mcdonald's but i have not found the original ones from the 80s i found some from the 90s i believe i have a couple and then last year they came back out with them and i got um they only had orange ones at our store so i got we got two orange ones <laughs> and I just recently found a green one. I don't know if I've like already shared that in a video or not, but so now I just need the white one. I feel like I wasn't really seeing anything here in this section that wasn't here the last time we were here. So I think it's only been like a month or so in between. I think for the most part, people probably come here to shop for clothing because it's like the main thing that they have. But I don't know, it's kind of cool because sometimes you can see something really great in the used section like I have seen some cool vintage things but I've either already owned them or just like not been my style but I find their prices to be not necessarily uh good for a reseller so if I see something I could sell for $20 and they have a price for $15 it's not really worth my time to take to like photograph and list it because you know like Etsy takes this all or like a fee and stuff so it's just it's getting harder and harder to find things at a reasonable price that you can resell and make profit from or at least that's how it's feeling lately 
Whereas with clothing, it's like a standard price and clothing is super abundant uh, and everybody needs clothing. So it's um, kind of like a win-win-win in terms of pricing. There's definitely a demand for clothing and there is an abundant supply. And then you're like keeping it from going to a landfill. I think a lot of people are under the impression when you donate clothing, like, oh, well, it's just going to get used by somebody. But actually... Uh, a lot of clothing from clothing stores like either ends up just directly getting thrown out or it gets turned into rags which is ultimately going to get thrown out so that's what annoys me about people who shop fast fashion and then they're like oh well, I donate it when I'm done it's like <laughs> well <laughs> it's not really that helpful so for our lunch that day we just brought these salads with us that we're basically obsessed with <laughs> um and we had gone in the grocery store and got these peanut butter cups to have but then john also found this vegan caramel chocolate bar which was actually really really good um but the salad was so good so then we wanted to go into the liquor store and if you like um marijuana is legal in canada but where we can buy it from is like the dispensaries are inside the liquor stores at least where i live in the province i live in it might be different in other areas of canada but i know like 90 percent of my viewers are from the u.s i think so um i we don't actually buy because we don't smoke it anymore but um yeah anyway i wanted to come in here to look for seasonal things that's pretty much the only time I go to the liquor store. This was actually a really nice liquor store. I've never been in it before. Um, but they had this tamarind flavored vodka, which I thought was interesting. And then when I first, when we first walked in there, it, it was, um, like liquor, but it looked like it was in a motor oil container, which is interesting. I know that, um, alcohol is a lot cheaper in the U S or at least that's what I've heard. Um, so I thought I would show a little, uh, price here. Um, we use different measurements in Canada, but like this bottle of Jack Daniels is 40 ounces, but it says like 1.14 liters or whatever, but that is $56. So I'm curious how much it, that comparison would be in other countries. And I guess the Jim Beam is a little cheaper, which I wouldn't have thought, but I noticed this apple pie, um liquor down there and that's what i ended up getting because i thought that sounded really good and i have tried it and it is really good and then after that i noticed these really um good looking flavored gins i think it was i think one was strawberry and one was blood orange they look really good but uh, i didn't get them usually only get like one or two bottles a year just to add to our collection and then it takes years for us to drink the the bottle so now we are in another one of those um same frenchy chain that has you know all the random stuff <laughs> for sale as well so um those are the same flashlights there that we got um for free and then i noticed this hockey stick and so i was telling john you might have an eraser but do you have an eraser that in the shape of a hockey stick and I shouldn't have even been laughing about that because immediately after that, I saw this little toy. I remember these from when I was a kid and I instantly was like, oh my God, do you remember these? And then he was just like, yeah, that's cool. And just kept walking. And I was like fully committed to getting every ring onto the little spikes in there. I was having a great time doing this. I sped up the footage because it was, it took me a while. I didn't even end up getting all of them on, but I honestly kind of wish I would have bought this. I feel like kids today, if you gave them something like that, they'd be like, what is this? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? And then they had bigger ones in the shape of a phone. But anyway, then I got to what I was supposed to be doing, which was looking for clothing. So I started in the plus size pants. Plus size clothing um, is like our biggest seller. So that's usually where I go to right away and start from there. Um... We don't even actually look that frequently in the super small sizes, but they had candles as well. So I was checking those out, see what they had in comparison. Um, and then I noticed this like wax warmer thing. I always kind of want to get these wax melts, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know. I mean, they can't be any worse than burning candles, I would imagine. So 
I do have like a Christmas one. That's like the only time that I ever do it. But I found some cool things. I found this. Um, it's like Southside Serpents. This is like an Archie thing. I'm not familiar with Archie comics really. So I don't know what that means. But and then I found this J. Dill. This is actually one of our best selling brands. And it's a brand I'd never heard of until we started reselling clothing. But the clothing stores that we shop in get their clothing from the U.S. So it's actually kind of nice for us because we can sell it like in Canada on Poshmark. And so if it's, I don't think that brand is sold in Canada, but I could be wrong. But there are quite a few brands that we get from the U.S. that aren't sold in Canada that sell well. That's the point I was trying to make. I kind of wanted to get that milk glass piece because I do really like it. But ultimately, I decided not to. And then I was in such a hurry to walk over to this fall area that I actually missed the white boo bucket. I'm just going to do a little slow motion replay here. Some of you may have noticed the first time, but there it is upside down right there. I walked right past it, did not notice it at all until I was looking at this footage. And I can't believe that I could have just easily bought it that day and had the full set. But um, yeah, oh well, <laughs> I don't know. I am a little mad at myself for not noticing it, <laughs> but like that's pro there's no point in trying to go back now because it's been like a while and there's probably a good chance it's not there, but lesson learned, I guess. So now we're in a, yet another one of those stores. There's two of them that are really close together, like maybe a 10 minute drive apart. So in there, when you first walk in, the candles and everything are there. So just had a little look to see. I think I was actually checking to see if they had any more pumpkin ones, but I don't know if I've seen any pumpkin um, the whole time. I smelled this one though, and it smells really, really nice. So I might get that at some other time. It would be perfect for the kitchen in like summertime very fresh. Had a quick little look over the VHS section just in case. I feel like I've looked through all of them and I don't think that I get new ones very regularly but just you never know. Got more of those fall placemats we saw. And then I do like um, some of the mats that they have for like outside here. I thought this one was nice. And I thought the one with the little birdhouses on it was cute too. I think I do end up getting um, a different kind of mat, but I don't know if I actually ended up showing it or not. It's more of like a rubber mat. So then they do have some, you know, used things in this one as well. We were in here looking around not that long ago. I feel like most of it was kind of the same. I do like to check the toy section just in case there's like vintage toys. We've found some pretty good ones over the time we've been doing this. Nobody bought the Easy Bake Oven yet. It was still there from the last time we were here. So I've determined that these stores are clearly having some issues because now on the outside bin it says do not climb in and then earlier with the carts and having to zip tie them so that people didn't put their kids in them which is clearly they're having some struggles. So we went to two more guys Frenchies. These ones both just have clothing in them so there wasn't really anything to show you. So then we were off to the grocery store because I wanted to get some gluten-free bread. Some gluten-free like... Um, bread for garlic bread specifically John had found these vegan candies and he was so excited to show me <laughs> so he was showing me those I usually just do grocery orders and John picks it up or John I just make the list and John goes to the grocery store because he likes doing it um so I'm never in the grocery store often so I never know where things are but this is the brand that I love of gluten-free bread so I was gonna get like a baguette style but the baguettes were looking really um squished just not appealing so I decided to get these instead and then I don't think I ever really show this but this is the mountain of clothing that we sourced that day 
and then our dining room was filled with a bunch more that we still um, have to process we have this like whole process for doing that um, but look at what we found recently John found this actually it's this pink jean jacket and it has Minnie on it and she's dressed up like a sailor and <laughs> I think it says you who on it I just thought it's so cute um, I'm sure somebody will be really happy with that and then I went to see my little baby Marley but she ran away from me <laughs> so she was obviously not impressed that we had been gone for I think it was like 12 or 13 hours that day she's just like the hell with you guys but little did she know i had to go upstairs anyway so i followed her up i wanted to get um, my laundry and start a load of laundry because i had picked up some new clothing items that i wanted to wash well at the thrift store <laughs> not new new to me um but again she just ran away from me and i took the pillow out of the package and i couldn't believe how flat it was <laughs> I knew it was going to be flat, but I didn't realize it was going to be that flat, but I, I knew that it was going to be flat, so I wanted to take it out so that it would have time to puff up before bed, and then Marley was still just, like, being weird, but eventually, when nobody's looking, is when she'll go and eat her food, so it'll usually, like, a half hour after you feed her, even though she's, like, asking for food, so then we were watching some Frasier on Pluto. I love that channel so much, because it just plays, like, nothing but whatever show channel you're on but we went because we were so tired um john went down and bought these veggie burgers there's like this little tiny restaurant close to us that has a veggie burger so we got veggie burgers and fries and we just added some vegan mayo and some vegan cheese to it it was so good <laughs> and now marley's finally okay with us after we abandoned her all day so <laughs> Um, now I'll just quickly run through what I did end up getting. So I ended up getting the mug and then I got some, um, not cookbooks, but like kind of, um, food magazines, I guess you'd say. Anyway, I, oh, I can't resist the holiday ones. They just, I don't know. And then this one had this little insert that clearly didn't belong to it, but this is from the 1960s and I thought, oh, that looks so cool. And then it had this. It has like different recipes inside it but it had this recipe for um this, these kellogg's pokes which i've never heard of before um and i looked them up and i think it was something that was around in the 60s but very briefly and they were for sure in canada but i couldn't find out if they were anywhere else but they look like a checks but like one end is open i don't know it's interesting and then i found this one which i thought was older but i think it was actually just from the 90s but I don't know sometimes these little ones just catch my eye and they just seem interesting and then I did get two of the fall magazines so um, I'm actually thinking about doing this for a pumpkin this year what they have done here I think that would look really cute one year I made like I turned big pumpkins into houses and I put little white pumpkins inside like they were little people inside their house. But I also really like this one where you spray paint little pumpkins black and add ears to make them like cats. So I don't know. I might try that too, but maybe just do one this year. I think the first one would actually be easier to do. So and then obviously I got the Wolf of Wall Street book. And then uh, for VHS, I ended up getting the Joe versus the Kano, which thank you again if you're watching for suggesting that. I haven't watched it yet, but I do think it looks like it'll be a good movie. So we got that. And then I got this movie, which I've never heard of, but I just looked at the cast and I felt like there was no way it could be a bad movie. But I did notice that this one, I think it's a white tape too. I don't think I have any tapes that are white. And then um, I got this Living Out Loud movie. I've never heard of this either, but it had Danny DeVito in it. And I thought, hmm, that could be fun. And then we found The Princess Bride, which we actually don't own. And I actually had never seen this movie until maybe two or three years ago. And then we found the movie Big. I've actually never seen that movie either, but I've heard like a million times that it's a good movie. So I think John's seen it before. And then uh, we got this movie as well, which I don't think I've seen and then I found a Jimmy Stewart movie, which I don't think I have. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I was 90% sure I didn't have it. So, And then John found Canadian Bacon on um, DVD. So we got that. I love John Candy so much. And then I found the, this cute, I don't think it's vintage, but I love the little pom-poms on it. This little like Valentine's tea towel. 
Then I found this smallish piece of material. I don't know if it's actually vintage or not, but it definitely has a vintage kind of look to it. Um, it's not a ton, but I think I can probably make like a pillow out of it or potentially some maybe curtains for like the front door. But I was excited to find it anyway, and it's in really good shape. So that was it for my thrift with me day and my haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again really soon.